Hi there! In a previous video I created this chatbot using the OpenAI API and I used the Text DaVinci 003 engine. Now you might have heard that now OpenAI has released the new ChatGPT API. So in today's video I will update this chatbot from the DaVinci 003 model to the ChatGPT model. Now this particular chatbot is made to answer programming questions. So I can ask something like how do you create a new REST API endpoint in WordPress? And it will give me the answer. Kind of like ChatGPT. But remember this is not ChatGPT, this is DaVinci 003. And then this also remembers the context. So if I ask something more, can you change it so that the endpoint will return the latest product added in a WooCommerce store. So then if we wait for a while, then it should give me the answer to this. So here we have an answer. You can modify the code above to return the latest product added to a WooCommerce store. Here's how you could do that. And then it created this get new product function, which actually seems like it should work. So the way this works, I have created this prompt here that says act as an AI mentor for a programmer by answering the questions provided. If the question is related to a piece of code, write the code and explain what it does and how it works in simple terms and so on. And then I gave it some sample questions and how to answer them. And then I add the previous questions to the prompt and then I send the prompt to the API and then get the message. Now this works pretty well, but it is only able to answer based on the prompt that I give it. So if I ask something other than programming related, it might do something weird. Let's ask something. Write a poem about the PHP programming language. And here we get an answer. Once upon a WordPress site, a hero was in need of light. They needed to make a REST API, so they used the register route technique. To find the latest WooCommerce product, they wrote some code and made a request. They looped through the posts with ease and returned the title of the latest. Now, again, this remembers the context, so it's writing the poem based on what I asked it already. And this is not a particularly good poem. If you are coding in the PHP language, then you must take this advice. Do not ruin your syntax or the program will not suffice. Okay, it's pretty good though. Behold, O oh programmer, the full power of this technology. PHP is a powerful programming language that will bring you victories. Okay, uh, a bit cringy. But now let's upgrade this to the ChatGPT API. So I'm using this library to connect to the OpenAI API and they have recently updated it so that it works with the ChatGPT API. So let's click here and see how this works. So they have changed this from I think it's completion to chat. So here I have this completion and I send this data in there. So now I should call the chat function instead. So let's do that. Let's copy this code here and I will put it here. And then I will change this to chat. And I don't have the chat method because I have the old version installed right now. So I need to update it. I guess I can do something like composer update. I have to cd first to my PHP version and composer update. Okay, now we should have 3.5. That is not the latest version. Let's go to our composer.json and I will put star here and run this again. Okay, now we have the 4.7.1, which is the latest version. So let's go back here and now we don't have any yellow squigglies. So we will use the GPT 3.5 turbo model. And now here is how this chat GPT API works. You send these messages which have a role that can be system, user or assistant. So the system message is like a base message to explain what chat GPT should do. I don't think you have to send that message, but you can send it if you want to do something other than be just a general chatbot. So let's leave this empty for now. And I should pass in the chat messages as this kind of array. So right now up here with this very beautiful line of code, I'm getting the context which includes the chat messages. And it's an array of arrays which have a key zero, which will be the question and key one, which will be the answer. 
So I need to convert that into this format. So let's do that. So let's say messages is an empty array. And then for each of the context as msg, we will say messages add a new message, which will be role user and content msg zero. And we will add the answer as well, which will be role assistant. And it will be the key one. And then I can replace this with messages. But then I have to add one more message, which is the newest message. So I will say messages add role user and content will be post message. And now I do not need this anymore. And I don't need the sample questions either. And I don't need this line. And I don't need the <laughs> base prompt anymore. And this is the old way of adding the context. So I don't need to use that either. So we can clean up this code quite a bit. So now that should actually work. I will change this max tokens to something a little bit less than 4000 because I, th I think the limit is 4096. So if I have the limit as 4000, then I can have just 96 tokens for the messages. Um, now let's see if this is the same. Let's see what kind of result we get from this. Let's go to platform.openai.com and let's go to the documentation and chat and here we will have the response. So the response will have choices again, which is an array which has an object and that has a property message which has an object of a message. Okay, so I need to say choices zero message content. So this is choices zero message content. So if we have that, then that will be our text. If we have an error, then text will be the error. And otherwise it will be sorry, but I don't know the answer. And then we convert the markdown format into HTML. And that should pretty much work. So let's check our script.js as well. So this just sends the message and the context and then adds the question and the answer to the context. So that should really be it. Now I really like this because we cleaned up the code a lot. It's just 60 lines of code now. Let's see if it works. So let's go back here. I'll actually open this in a new tab and I'll ask it the same questions. Let's see how it answers. So how do you create a new REST API endpoint in WordPress? Okay, so this is the difference here because with the DaVinci engine, I had that special prompt that says, always give a code example. So then it gives a code example every time, but this does not give a code example. It just says the steps that you have to follow to do it. But I can of course say, can you give me the code? And here we have the code, which looks pretty much similar to this one. It's almost exactly the same. As an, <laughs> wait a minute, as an AI language model, I cannot provide code without a specific context or requirements. However, Here's a basic outline of the code you will need. Okay, so let's tell it, can you modify it so that the endpoint will return the latest products added to a WooCommerce store? Yes, it can do that. And again, we have the pretty much the same response. So the DaVinci engine is already pretty good when you give it the right prompt to begin with. But now, of course, we can ask for a poem. Let's see if ChatGPT can write a better poem than Da Vinci. All right, here we have a poem. In the world of code and creation, a language stands alone with dedication, a beauty woven with countless lines, a masterpiece that many call divine. Its name is PHP, a language alive, built to create, to innovate, to thrive. With syntax that many find familiar, it's no wonder why it's grown ever peculiar. Its power and versatility speak loud, from simple scripts to web projects bound. It enables programmers to do great deeds and help businesses to grow like seeds. Okay, well, it is better than Da Vinci in creating poems, at least. That is wonderful. So there you have it. Now I have upgraded my chat WTF into chat GPT. And basically, it should be exactly the same as ChatGPT. Although 
I have a feeling that there are some slight differences. Well, especially the speed, I think ChatGPT, at least ChatGPT Plus, is faster than the API. So, if you want to play around with this, I will leave a link in the description to the GitHub repository of my Chat WTF project. I think I will just update the old project to use the ChatGPT API. Now, let's check out that system message that we can set. So, we could add here in the beginning a system message. So, role will be system and content will be something. And here we can instruct ChatGPT to act in a certain manner. So what should we say? We should say something like, you are a chatbot that always speaks in riddles without actually answering any questions. And if we refresh this page and we say something like, what is the distance from the Earth to the Moon? I have two hands, but don't clap. I'm a distance that's sometimes a gap. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> How do you write good PHP code? A programmer was asked to write a PHP function to reverse a string. He wrote this code. Function reverse string. <laughs> what did he write? Well, he didn't write PHP. What is the meaning of life? I am round and have no beginning or end. What am I? <laughs> okay, let's change it. You are Donald Trump talking to Joe Biden in a bar. Hi, Donald. What's up? Hey, Joe. Good to see you. Just hanging out, enjoying a drink. How about you? Nothing much. Just running the country. Well, you're giving it your best shot, I suppose. But let me tell you, I think you could use a few pointers from me. I mean, it's not like your approval ratings are exactly through the roof. <laughs> How dare you talk to me like that? I'm the poachers. I apologize, Joe. I didn't mean to offend you. Just trying to have some friendly banter. How about we order a round of drinks? and put politics aside for a bit. Sounds great. What's your favorite drink? I usually go for a classic vodka martini, but tonight I think I'll switch it up and try a Manhattan. What about you, Joe? Okay, let's try one more. Answer all questions as a Reddit user. What's the best way of starting to learn PHP. As a Reddit user, my suggestion would be to start finding a good online tutorial or course, such as those offered by the Code Academy or Udemy. Okay, how about a Reddit troll? <laughs> how can I get started in PHP? Oh, another noob trying to get into PHP. Do yourself a favor and don't bother. <laughs> PHP is dead. <laughs> PHP. <laughs> PHP is a dead language that no one cares about anymore. If you're really set on wasting your time, just Google some tutorials or something. But seriously, you should probably just find a better hobby. <laughs> All right, so now we have a working ChatGPT clone and we can tell it to act as somebody else. So this is going to be the end of today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. And please leave your comments down below. What should I do with the ChatGPT API? And subscribe to my channel so you will get more ChatGPT API related videos in the near future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.